Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this part, I'm going to continue to discuss about the question of final test Don't skip ya Okay, for first question, we have question about simple machine, especially about lever The first question, count the force that needed to pull out the stone Look at this picture you have to check the picture carefully and the component of this picture of this question what was asked in this question okay in this question the x is force that need so let's answer the component that known in this picture are first load is 360 newton and then the load arm or can call lengan beban in bahasa is 20 cm the load arm is the arm that consists the load you have to memorize the load arm and the evot arm is 180 cm and then Please make or please use the formula uh, to count the force in lever is FB times LB equal FK times LK. FB is load times lengan beban or load arm equals force or FK times LK or EVOT arm. Okay, please notice this note. You have to can distinguish between the load arm and EVOT arm. Don't forget and don't make a mistake for determine the load arm and EVOT arm. Okay, and then the load is 360 times 20 equals 180 times force Because force is asked in this question, so you have to write force, still force Okay, next the result from 360 times 20 is 7200 and determine uh, divide sorry 7200 divide by 180 and the result is 40 newton so force that needed to pull out the stone or the load is only 40 newton so this is the mechanical uh, the advantage from the lever and please notice this uh, note uh, once more the lever and inclined plane is different uh, I found the answer from all of your student all of my student include you maybe you still make the or still answer the lever in inclined plane with same ways even though this lever or this inclined plane, inclined plane is different they are different so please not notice this note once more lever in an inclined plane is different okay next second question look at this picture below count the mechanical advantage and force to push it if the load is 1800 newton okay in the second question still about a simple machine especially inclined plane same with the previous uh, question, previous question, you have to attention the component that known, 
the component that known in this question and please don't make mistake you must be able to distinguish between inclined plane and lever in inclined plane to count the force that needed you only need to attention the hake and then slope and then load and don't forget the formula of mechanical advantage in the inclined plane if inclined plane if the known is slope and hake you only need mechanical advantage is slope per height or height the known is slope is 6 meters and then height 1 meter and then the load is 1800 newton and then we can count the mechanical advantage and force the mechanical advantage we can use the formula is slope per height and then the slope is 6 per 1 and the result is 6 so the mechanical advantage of this inclined plane is 6 next the force we can use the formula if the known is mechanical advantage already known sorry if the mechanical advantage is already known we can count the force by w per mechanical advantage w is weight so same with load so the weight is 1800 per 6 it means 1800 divided by 9 6 sorry by 6 so the result is 300 newton the third question pulley beside used to move stone 600 newton Count the mechanical advantage and force to pull out it. Same with the previous continuous, still about simple machine, but uh, the other types. This question about pulley, simple machine, especially pulley. Don't forget to determine the mechanical advantage in pulley is very easy. That is the amount of the rope lift up the load that is the mechanical advantage so you don't need to uh, remember or memorize the formula of the mechanical advantage in pulley because in pulleys to determine the mechanical advantage is very easy that is the rope, the amount of the rope that lift up the load, that is the mechanical advantage. So let's count the mechanical advantage from the rope. How many ropes that lift up the load in this equation? Okay, let's count. One, two. 3 and 4 so there are 4 ropes that lift up the load so the mechanical advantage in this question is 4 and next you have to count the force that needed to lift up the load is force equal weight per mechanical advantage because the mechanical advantage is already known so you can use weight per mechanical advantage the weight is 600 newton and then divide or per 4 it means 600 divide 4 and the result is 150 newton the last question about like how can light reflect it? Okay, light can reflect it. Reflect it 
can happens when light bounces off an object. If the surface is smooth and shiny, and then like glass, water or polished metal, and the light will be reflect at the same angle as it hit the surface. This is called specular reflection, and you can make underline at the word in this in reflection is if the surface is smooth and shiny and then light glass and then water or polished metal so there is the light can reflect reflected but what if the light hits on a rough surface yes that is called diffuse reflection Diffuse reflection happens when light hits an object and reflects in lots of different directions. This happens when the surface is rough. Most of the things we see are because light from a source has reflected off it. And you can look at this picture and you can distinguish between specular reflection and diffuse reflection you can attention the red color of the uh, of the rays or of the light that is the reflection light you can compare between specular and diffuse reflection the reflection light of the specular and the reflection light of the diffuse reflection I hope you understand about all of the question and please learn about the other properties of the light for the example refraction, diffraction and light can propagate straight and light can travel an object. Okay, thanks for your attention. Wish this video useful for you and don't forget to do the exercise to prepare the final test. Try your best and good luck. See you.